Hey, what's up guys? This is T-Bone here. So in today's episode, I wanted to talk about how to pass this uh, Elite Training Ground Magic Worshipper level. And so if you take a look at the tutorial, what you're told is that Naga gets, uh, Naga will trigger her Blade Dance when she, when she gets a Hero's Buff, and then Iron Golem gets a Hero's Buff, uh, will, will increase the troop damage reduction. And Genie also heals the troops continuously. And so what you want to do is you want to um, actually get them all in the same row. And I found that placing the Genie behind the Archmage actually uh, works better most of the time. And so this is actually your starting position. So let's get into battle. And now the two battle skills, the two skill, uh, magic skills actually uh, that you're going to want to activate are going to be Mirth and Slayer. You don't actually need to activate anything else. And so at the beginning, what you want to do is you want to activate the Slayer skill because it will actually unlock first. And you want to try to unlock, uh, you want to try to activate it so that most of your units are actually in that uh, affected area. So with this, we can actually take out the goblins relatively quickly, and then right away, you want to also then activate Mirth. So Mirth will also increase the um, the morale of your units, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, activate Slayer one more time so that we can get through this first unit of um, orcs. Now that we're getting through the orcs, what you want to do now is you actually want to focus on activating the skills on the genie as well as on the archmage at this point. Because what you want to do is you want to boost their, um, you want to boost their heal as much as possible. And what's going to happen is you're going to out heal the damage from the behemoth. So you can sort of see here we're actually lasting longer. And to make this easier for you you want to try to uh, queue up the skill by hovering over the units as soon as it's available you can activate it. The nice thing about having the Archmage being alive is that she will also deactivate the orcs in the back so you can sort of see like uh, by making them inactive you could focus on taking down the uh, behemoth and so this is how you could then take out uh, this level by focusing on Naga first but then focusing on your mage as well as your archmage afterwards to keep your units alive when it's up against Behemoth. So hopefully this tip is helpful for you as you go on to finish the training. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, take care and I'll see you next time.